What's the hybridization of carbon and benzene? The answer is sp2. I'm going to explain it to you two ways. One representation of benzene has alternating double bonds around a hexagon. The resonance structure for that, which is equally valid, is, you know, the double bonds in opposite places. Each of the bonds in benzene, they're all the same size. They're a little bit shorter than a single bond, a little bit longer than a double bond. They're somewhere in between, right? The point is that in both of these representations, you've got a carbon with three sigma bonds and a pi bond. The fact that there is a pi bond connected to each of the carbons means that there's one unhybridized p orbital, and that's why this is sp2. There are three available p orbitals. You're using up one of them to make the pi bond, and therefore only two of those p's get to hybridize, okay? Now, the other way you can visualize this is with the actual circulation of electrons, and I don't want to imply that they're going in a circle here, orbiting like planets, but there is an, a pz orbital on each of these carbons that did not hybridize, and the idea is that those are overlapping to make a molecular orbital where the electron could be at any point. Now, I should also do it here, but uh, I don't want you thinking that there's that there's two extra bonds here. This isn't a triple bond or anything. The orange here is just the region of space where the electrons can be. But because each of these carbons has a PZ, which is unhybridized, again, that means that you can hybridize together the 2S orbital and two of the 2P orbitals, but one of them must stay unhybridized. The ground state for carbon probably looks something like this. And then the hybridized version of it, you've got sp2s. That's what lets you make the three sigma bonds. And one of these two p's is not hybridized. Anyways, the hybridization of carbon and benzene is sp2. And I hope me talking for two minutes has explained to you why we know that to be true. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.